Look, over there. We can take this way back to the camp. I can help with the vines. Now embed your blades into the glowing vines and light it. Your brother seemed open to your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freya. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me. <laughs> These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison. I think we'll need to adjust our strategy since there's more than one. Let's try using a sigil. Done. 
It's not as though I want to be angry with Freyr. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me for half my life. These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of it. I suppose that works too. Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. <laughs> Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. Yeah. is home again after all that's happened Skull and Hadi are in Vanaheim? We learned the Giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The Eastern Migration. It's just as I remember it. 
At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freyr, too. You won't be able to damage it without destroying the mother. It's a large, bulbous thing. You can't miss it. I see something. What is this? I don't know. But giants definitely crafted it. There's two wolves represented here. Perhaps a connection to our friends in the sky. A mystery for another time. Better luck burning. <laughs> can break through their shields. They're defenseless now.
So much has happened since I last saw Freyr. I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Deimos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. Now, how to get across? My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble.
Darkness can be powerful, even for the unworthy. My wife, Faye, taught me that. Hmm. Well, be glad you have a spouse to remember fondly. All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depth to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Roa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. <sighs> Watch for the plants. They like me, but strangers, not so much. I see that.
So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know, but I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Ready? As I ever will be. At last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You'll reclaim the throne. We'll rebuild. Me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility. One you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported, no matter how selfish his choices. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me when I needed you the most. Freya, please. I thought you were dead. No. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. You have any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. I mourned you. Oh, I've missed you so much. And I you even. But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. 
Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare head. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, if and you ain't staying here, bears mentioning it's injury and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tear. That's kind of you, bro. I may do just that. Well, all right then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Don't run off without me now, brother. I've done what I can here. Well, brother, care to meet our new allies? Or shall we depart? Oh, excuse me. Can you stop and help a lady out, please? May I ask, how did the Apostle come to follow my brother? I was broken when he found me. The truth I'd pledged my life to, it was a lie. Lord Freyr put what was left of me back together. Give me something real to believe in. That's Freyr, the Lord of Second Chances. He saved me, gave me a family, a purpose, and I will gladly die for both. Thank you. He's lucky to have you. Tell me about the camp dog. Lord Freyr found her half dead in the jungle. She probably escaped the Blothunder breeding farm north of here. We all told him. She was beyond saving, but he never gave up. She healed and hasn't left us since. She's a sweet girl. <laughs> She's pure of heart, believes in your goodness, even if you don't. I'm glad it worked. Uh, whatever you helped to do out there. I'm still not sure I totally get you, or what your deal is, but as long as you have her back, I'll have yours. Should we ask him? Don't be rude. What's rude about asking for help? Big Veer, my love, focus on your work. You need to weave those tighter. a lot of time tinkering up and down the river delta once owns army came to town i lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom <sighs> ablaze so frazzled i accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables what irreplaceables well just one really <clears throat> an orb i'd be mighty grateful if you would find it what is it and if you come across any of my old beautifully <clears throat> rusted armor pieces I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me <laughs> happy as a sunbeam. Oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge! Hmm. 
What sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? I do not know. What you need now? After all this time, she's still a beauty. Still owe me the story of who made these things. Ready when you are. You make up your mind. And Lady Freya? Make up your mind? Time I had something to do.
Let's make something then. No refunds. Tighter? Are you certain? Yes. Hmm. Looks tight enough to me. It is not. You're not even looking. Don't need to. Your alliance is unusual. I think what Kratos is trying to say is... He's never seen a Light Elf and Dark Elf work together. It's a welcome sight. Hopefully one day, a common one. Mimir tells me you're something of an adventurer. Should you ever find your way to the Forbidden Sands and Alfheim... Contested territory. Past the Barrens. There are rumors of a sanctum, and artifacts our elders don't want us to see. Anything that sheds light on our suppressed history would benefit all of Alfheim. Uncovering secret history? Sounds like my kind of adventure. Knowledge of the Elves' common ancestry is what brought us together. Stories of Alfheim before the division of light and dark. It's very taboo. Didn't stop you from spreading word of it. Which is how you ended up in prison. Where she and I met. As enemies, naturally, but escaped as friends. More than friends. You can stop talking. Okay. <clears throat> Good luck out there. I still feel it's pulled. You want nothing else when you're near it. And away from it, you're only biding time until you can drink again from the light. But then again, the light does not make good food. It doesn't play music or tell jokes or open your eyes to new things. It makes you run in place. The more I am away from it, the more I see it for what it really is. And I don't need it anymore. I appreciate your candor. Is someone going to ask me if I miss the light? Of course. How rude of me. In their defense, love, you are usually not the most... talkative. I will speak. From birth, we are taught the light is everything. The elders say it is why we fight. But all of that... It's shit. I am more than the Hive. More than a soldier. Light Elves, Dark Elves... All Elves are the same. Stubborn. Brainless as moths, blinded by their light. I know better now. I looked into the shadows, and there I found my people. My home. That is all I have to say. You can go away. Thank you for sharing. I hope we have a chance to talk further, Mimir. Always nice to meet a fellow skull. And Kratos, I understand your homeland is famed for philosophers. When things quiet down, I'd love to hear their ideas. And your own. I have nothing to say that will interest you. Nonsense, brother. I've heard many a wise word past those sunburned lips. <laughs> it's all right, Mimir. My wife is much the same way. Careful. Uh, quiet, but very deep. Acceptable. Woo! <laughs> she loves me so much. 